I don't think I'm easily led or impressionable. I think I'm open-minded. Paranoia plus fantastic imagination <laughs> equals conspiracy theory. Obviously, everyone knows why I'm making this video. Uh, I don't even know where to begin because of the incredible levels of hatred. Um, I guess you know that people say that now that, that you are an uh, MI6 agent. Yep, uh, MI6, CIA. Uh, are you an MI6 agent? Yes. Okay. okay. Well, I just wanted to clear that up. That's good, okay. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> After a student riot, you said, unless people were actually there on the ground speaking to the perpetrators and the police and to the demonstrators, you don't really have an ability to create logical theories. That sounds good. That makes sense. That I, makes I, sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So do but you think do, yeah. you had any right to deny the official 9-11 story without being there or at least traveling to New York to speak with these professionals yourself? Hmm. That is an excellent question. Well, in the conspiracy theory world, we use the word research. Yeah. to say, oh, I've been researching for two years. Yeah. Researching in the conspiracy world is watching YouTube videos, yeah. reading other documents by other conspiracy people, um, going to meetings mm -hmm. with other conspiracy people and yeah. everyone agreeing. That's research. I guess, you know, what I wanted to say is like how powerful some statements are and how they're perceived by people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think it matters what happened at 9-11? Or should it matter? That's a very open question. Of course it should matter, man. Like, what do you mean by should well, it matter? for example, should you live your life differently because of 9/11? No, that's the answer. To that you shouldn't. And um, so it shouldn't matter that much. No, it shouldn't matter. And I think it's just it's a pastime for people to be involved in 9/11 to this degree because 9/11, 3,000 dead, illegal invasion of Iraq, half a million dead. Let's mm. do the maths here. Which one's more of a issue? Mm -hmm. Whichever way you look at 9/11, inside job, or not inside job, planes or no planes, mm -hmm. bombs or no bombs. It was human beings who did this to other human beings because of actions of state. We know why the Islamists did 9-11. It was um, because of America's financial military support for Israel and American troops in Saudi Arabia. And they came out and said statements to that effect, which is why they did 9-11. Since I did my video saying I don't believe in the 9-11 conspiracy thing anymore, David Icke has attacked me twice. Mm -hmm. And it's so telling, like just how crazy he is. Mm -hmm. He wrote this like whole thing about, I don't care what Charlie Veach says, we need to move on. And then he wrote this phrase, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. He goes, Charlie Veach will very deeply regret what he's doing in the near future. That almost sounds like a threat. Here's a man preaching about infinite love and understanding, and then I'm not allowed to change my mind without him suddenly attacking me publicly. I don't think he has very much class. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you know in the last two, three weeks, would you have done it differently now? No, I'm a big out? believer. <clears throat> I'm a big believer in shock okay. and awe and just getting it out. Mm -hmm. I probably would have done it the same because, like, what's the point? I would have been lying to myself if I came on video and I said, guys, I've done this thing. I'm starting to, I'm going to ask more questions here. And I don't know about 9 11. I changed my mind. I don't think 9 11 was an inside job. And so I wanted to be very honest and very direct and mm -hmm. just say it. Mm -hmm. like, I did have uh, an inflated ego, a kind of heightened sense of importance, thinking that I was some sort of crusader mm -hmm. against this evil thing and that I was blessed by the goddess or something with this ability to communicate and mm -hmm. people watch my YouTube videos, so the onus was on me. I was the modern day Che Guevara and I yeah. thought that the, the state, the secret services were watching me closely. Do you have a price? My price would be that to maintain my moral integrity mm -hmm to not promote anything that I don't believe in, which is mm -hmm. why I've stopped promoting 9-11 uh, inside job, mm -hmm. and to not fuck over anyone without ha them having to be. So would I deal with David Rockefeller? Maybe, man. Like, mm -hmm. if I did something which I felt was still helping the world mm -hmm. in a way, or if I was able to make films a lot better and maintain mm -hmm. my moral integrity 100%, let the old fucker give me money, man. You said you are for free speech. 
but once you posted a video um, that people might react to, you remove the comment section on your blog. If I think of my YouTube channel as my little garden, mm -hmm. um, I want it to remain nice. I want people to be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's my YouTube, man. If okay. people want to write hate on it all day, then I'll just take off the comment mm -hmm. section because it's distracting. But that is a comment which has been thrown at me so often. Like, oh, Charlie, you believe in free speech. Why did you delete my comment? Why did you block me? Yeah. The amount of crazy people who say mm -hmm. so insulting things. Mm -hmm. I, this remember, True. let me just answer mm -hmm. this. I block them from my channel. They can do what, they can set up a film company and write shit about me, say things about me. And yeah. that, but I think it becomes an issue of censorship. Mm -hmm. If I were in control of the internet and I deleted their comments from the whole internet. But when I'm trying to make films and have a little thing and inspire mm -hmm. people for my own thing, I don't see any moral problem with promoting free speech and stopping okay. assholes mm. pissing me off by writing on my wall all day about hatred and stuff. They say, with great power comes great responsibility. It's a famous line. <laughs> Spider-Man told me that. <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, man, like words are dangerous. Yeah. Words are, can be equally dangerous mm. as weapons. Mm -hmm. 